It's judgment day for the iPhone. Will you or won't you? You want a revolution? Well, viva la loop. All right, my guest tonight from San Francisco, product editor for Wired, Mark McCluskey is here, and from the Apple Store on Fifth Avenue in New York City, Adam Frucci, editor for Gizmodo.com. Gentlemen, welcome to The Loop. I'm, I'm jealous that you guys are closer to the iPhone than I, but I digress. Mark, the big day is here. People are starting to get their hands on the iPhone. You tell me, is the hype justified? Well, you tell me. You looked giddy in that segment, man. I did. Like a Japanese schoolgirl. I couldn't contain myself. Exactly. I, you know, I think the hype is justified. I think, you know, cell phones suck, frankly. And if Apple can do half of what they're promising, this thing's just going to knock everything else out of the park right now. Adam, what about yourself? Are you excited for this product? Yeah, you know, it's a really cool phone. It's completely different than anything else that's out there right now. It's not the end-all, be-all of technology. It's not perfect but it's certainly a step up from what we got right now. Well, let's, let's get right to the make or break feature then, Adam. And what do you think about the phone's intelligent virtual keyboard? Have you had, had a chance to actually touch it yet? No, unfortunately, it just uh, was released about an hour ago, so I haven't had a chance to play with it yet. But from everything I've heard, it seems like there's a learning curve to it. If you're used to playing with a BlackBerry, uh, it's not going to be that intuitive to you. But once you play with it for a week or two, uh, it supposedly is uh, not that bad to use. Yeah, you know, I was able to type with it okay this morning. I even, you know, I'm a very run before I walk kind of guy, and I had the dual thumb type in going down. Mark, have you had a chance yet? I haven't had a chance, but you know, I, I don't think that, you know, the hardcore Blackberry guy who's pounding out all his email on it is really what Apple's looking to, to tap into here. I think they're looking for people who have a much more sort of multimedia thing going on. So, the, you know, the movies, the music, the, the photos, and then sort of email and SMS sure. comes in after that. Well, and of course, the Internet capabilities. I mean, if you listen to the commercials, Apple is promising the Internet as we know it on a phone. Not a, not a watered-down version, not a different version, but the actual Internet. But if you're not in a Wi-Fi hotspot like I was this morning, Steve Jobs himself says that AT&T's network can be disappointing for web browsing. So, I yeah, mean, I mean, go ahead, Mark. No, sorry. I mean, I, I think that's going to be the real thing that could hurt Apple here is AT&T's Edge network, which is just not really very fast. The, the one piece of good news is it seems like it's actually been a little bit faster today, and AT&T's been spending a ton of money to try and upgrade, and, and you know they turned on everything they got to sure. uh, deal with the big influx of phones today. Adam, do you think, uh, do you think people are going to be disappointed when they get the phone home if they don't have Wi-Fi and they want the, the New York Times to load as fast as it does in the actual commercial? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be painfully slow if you're not connected to Wi-Fi. I think if, if people are looking for just a fun phone that's also an iPod, uh, they'll be happy. But if they're looking for a mobile Internet device, this is really pretty lousy unless you're connected to Wi-Fi just because the network is so slow compared to what else is out there. Well, now, I mean, obviously there's a ton of stuff that you can do on the phone. We keep hearing it over and over again from photos to web browsing to Google Maps. But, you know, Adam, there's obviously a lot you can't do on the phone as well that you can on, on several cheaper smartphones. So... What, you know, what are some of those things from your perspective that you wish version one of the iPhone had? Oh, well, just basic things like sending a picture message. You can't do that on the iPhone. You can't take video even though it has a camera on it. Uh, it doesn't have voice dialing. So some things that people are used to, they're going to have to give up to kind of go with the slick package that the iPhone comes in. But Mark, I think uh, in the next year or so, uh, they'll come out with a second version or firmware upgrades that will uh, enable right. some of these features that are missing right now. Mark, how do you think that's going to go? Do you think that it's going to be software updates over the next few months, or are they going to really wait to roll out version 2 that addresses all those problems? No, they'll, they'll definitely roll out software updates. That's, that's something that Jobs has even hinted at. But, you know, what Apple's actually really great at is is paring down experiences so you get rid of all the useless features that you don't need that clutter up things like a Windows mobile smartphone. And so, you know, I'm, I'm willing to cut him a little slack and hope that big missing gaps like MMS, multimedia messaging, and those sorts of things, hopefully we'll see those in an update. Do you think maybe they left out instant messaging because they want you to rely on text messages so you pay that extra 20 bucks a month for unlimited text messages? I, I think they probably left it out because they were worried about network traffic. I mean, he, frankly, if you look at the data plans, they aren't really giving you much text messaging either. I think they'd rather have you send email over either of those things. Interesting, interesting. All right, final word then. I mean, all this doesn't matter if, if your guys still aren't interested. So let's start with you, Adam. Are you going to pick up an iPhone today? Nope, I'm, uh, I'm going to wait for version 2. You're uh, what are you doing out there with all the masses naysaying? What, what's yeah. going on? 
Hey, it's a cool thing. I'm happy to report on it. I'm just not willing to drop 600 bucks on one. Sacrilegious! Mark, save this, please. You're getting one, right? Come on. I'm, I'm leaving this studio and going to the Apple store in downtown San Francisco right now. All right, two, limit is two per customer, so if you have an extra eight gigs, set it aside for me, even though I oh. was the biggest naysayer for weeks. All right, I'll hook you up, man. All right, Mark and Adam, I want to thank you both for joining us, keeping us in the loop. We appreciate it, guys. Attack of the Show, weeknights at 7, only on G4.